accused rapist who terrorized one of San Diego's most popular neighborhoods coming face to face with his accusers in court. Today, one of the victims relived the horrifying crime that lasted for more than two hours. New at 5, tennis reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us. And Steve, the victim says the first person she thought would be able to save her didn't. That would have been a good Samaritan who looked the other way. Some very painful moments retold today in a courtroom downtown. Ismail Hernandez is accused of sexually assaulting a young woman for two and a half hours last May. Repeated rapes beginning in Balboa Park and moving around the nearby neighborhood. The victims, whose face we are not showing, told of cell phone pictures taken in various poses. And he took pictures while I was in that position as well and would just keep putting me in different positions and taking pictures and video um, during all of it. Frightened for her life because her attacker held a knife. The whole time he would just off and on keep telling me not to not to scream, not to not to talk to anybody, um, or he was going to either stab me or kill me. She was able to focus, though, both on survival and eventual justice. Her attacker had distinctive tattoos on his forearms, on both arms. I stared at them all night long because I figured if I can identify him, that's how I'm, I was going to be able to identify him. The most heartbreaking moment of her testimony was when she told of finally making eye contact with someone who might be able to call police, a woman getting into a nearby car. And I looked at her and I mouthed, help. Did she look at you? She did. And she looked at him and looked back at me and got in her car and drove away. The rapist finally finished and ran away. She screamed for help and called 911. Crime Stoppers put out a sketch and anonymous tips led to Hernandez, who was ordered to stand trial. Tara then ended when a piece of delivery person stopped and helped her and called police. There was another victim. 15 minutes earlier, another woman was approached by a man. She threw her food in his face and ran away. Hernandez is going to be facing trial on both crimes. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina.